Matt Powell and Kent Hovind and a few others I could mention have no concept of respect for integrity of knowledge. No. They just no. say things are true because they want them to be true. Yeah. So that's one of those things that, that Kent Hovind will say that you will never find in any scientific paper, article, or book. And the same, same thing with when he says to this day, despite everybody correcting him, he still says that, well, you believe, you know, evolutionists believe we came from a rock. Except that no evolutionist ever believed that. Nobody, yeah. not one, not ever. No, I don't believe that at all. I don't believe we came from rocks. It seems today that the atheistic movement is completely ignorant about their theory of origins. Now, this should come as no surprise to us as Bible-believing Christians, that they would be ignorant of their own theories. According to evolutionary theory, according to chemical evolution, we actually descended from rocks. Now, I know that the atheistic movement and the online skeptics will say that they do not believe this at all, but they are just showing their ignorance about their own creation story their own creation myth of how life started from non-living chemicals. If you type in on the internet, you owe your life to rock, it brings up a paper called, you owe your life to rock. If you were to click on that paper, the first few words of that paper are, thank goodness for granite. This paper goes on to say that we actually owe our life to rocks that were rained on. And what happened was these granite rocks were rained on for two million years, and it eroded the rocks to a point where multicellular life would be able to use the chemical compounds that were eroded from the rocks to be able to come into existence. We are multicellular organisms. That means that we descended from rocks according to chemical evolution, according to their evolutionary abiogenesis hypothesis. It's so insane. But yet they'll sit there denying it, they'll sit there saying that they don't actually believe this, when we have legitimate proof that shows that it is what they believe and whether they realize it or not. In another scientific paper on the origin of life, it goes on to say that rocks and minerals played key roles in virtually every phase of life's emergence. So yes, they are saying that rocks were rained on, minerals were eroded, we evolved from the minerals. By definition, that means that we were conceived from rocks. But yet they will deny the fundamental of their faith. They'll deny their own creation myth. And they will say that what we believe is crazy and that Christianity is insanity. You know what's insanity? Saying that the universe created itself from nothing. And then after that creation from nothing, that rain created itself, rained for two million years on some rocks, turned the rocks into soup. The soup came alive and we descended from these single-celled organisms that became multicellular and turned into fish and then into fishermen. That is a fairy tale for grown-ups. And if somebody actually believes that, it just shows that they cannot be trusted in any sense whatsoever scientifically. Because if they're willing to believe something that crazy, they're going to spew nothing but inaccuracy after inaccuracy after inaccuracy. They're just going to spew nothing but lies and falsehoods. Because they don't actually care about what truth is. They don't care about what facts are. I should throw out there that, that uh, Matt Powell did much the same thing with me that, that Kent did with you. That we, all of us here today believe that we came from rocks even though nobody believes that if you get into a debate with them you gotta spend half your time explaining no i don't believe that at all i don't believe we came from rocks and instead resort to your typical misrepresentations of science like claiming i think life came from a rock no matter how many times i explain to you that those are stupid things to say now this should come as no surprise to us as bible believing christians that they would be ignorant of their own theories. Despite everybody correcting him, he still says that, well, you believe, you know, evolutionists believe we came from a rock. Except that no evolutionist ever believed that. Nobody, yeah. not one, not ever. and instead resort to your typical misrepresentations of science, like claiming I think life came from a rock.
So when you come on here and say, nobody believes, or when you get on your channel, nobody believes that we came from rocks. That's just a lie. You're just hearing that from other atheist YouTubers. Because this is what evolution teaches. If evolution teaches that the earth was a hot, molten ball of rock, and then it rained on the rocks for millions of years, and out of that suit came me and you <laughs> over generations and variations, that is what evolution teaches then, is that we evolved from rocks, that we descended from the chemical elements contained in these rocks.